Also this morning, in just hours, Western New York's so-called HIV predator is expected to learn his fate. So will new Sean Williams spend his life in civil confinement? News 4's Michelle McClintic is following that story. Good morning, Michelle. Well, good morning. A judge sent new Sean Williams back to jail, saying he's a threat to society. Today, the so-called HIV predator could find out if he'll be a free man again. New Sean Williams, also known as Shy T. Johnson, will fight for his release from prison today. The so-called HIV predator finished a 12-year sentence in April. But the state attorney general's office wants to keep him in custody indefinitely, calling him a threat to society. Back in May, state Supreme Court Justice John Mahalski ruled Williams should stay locked up. The court hereby concludes that the respondent is sufficiently dangerous to require confinement and lesser conditions of supervision will not suffice to protect the public during the pendency of these proceedings. Williams was ordered back to the Wendy Correctional Facility. That decision sparked this outburst from Williams' wife and family. Are other people um, that's uh, walking around with HIV, are they a threat? You're not questioning that. Mm -hmm. It's not a threat. And you don't need to be committed. Now, the attorney for Nushan Williams says that his client isn't covered by the civil confinement law. I'll have more on that coming up in the next half hour. Reporting live, Michelle McClintock, News 4, Wake Up.